Okay, so this example is asking you to turn moles to atoms. I know from my conversions that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or particles or molecules or whatever it may be. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my dimensional analysis where I have 1.3 mole. Sorry about the noise in the back, that's my cat. I'm going to say over 1 just because that makes it easy for me to look at that it's a fraction. Times. What I want to end up with in my answer is atoms. So I have to cancel out moles. So that means I have to put moles at the bottom because if it's at the top and the bottom, they'll cancel out. And what I have to put on top has to be atoms. So basically in one mole, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. You may see me write times 10 uh, like this, E. That is a math function. You can also find that in your calculator. Okay, so let me pull out my handy dandy different color. There we go. And now I can see that I have moles at the top, moles at the bottom. So these ones will cancel out and I'm only left with atoms. The only thing I have left to do is just figure out the actual number. So I need a calculator for this. And look, I upgraded from my phone. So I have 1.3 uh, times, and I'm gonna put parentheses, 6.02, and then times 10 in your calculator. Um, if you have this type of calculator, you can always put second E. So you see second E, that means times 10, times 10 to the 23rd, notice I closed the parentheses, just want to make sure that that's a whole number, equal to that. So my answer is equal to 7.8, I'm going to say 3, times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So within 1.3 moles of copper, um, I yeah, within 1.3 moles of copper, I have 7.83 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. It didn't even matter that I was talking about copper because this conversion is true for absolutely everything.